we're going to be collecting the treasure map pieces and getting the pirate's gold challenge. And uh, I've begun here in uh, 47's little hut. Grab that lucky apple there. It's going to be coming in handy later. And uh, it doesn't really matter where you start, to be honest. Um, basically, I picked this place because it's uh, nice and near where I'm going to go first. And in my loadout, I've uh, taken the lock pick and I've taken a suppressed pistol. And I've also taken a uh, sedative vial of poison, sedative pills, whatever, you know. Something that will knock someone out, because uh, that will come in handy for getting one of the map pieces in a minute. And so we're going to come here, there's a little gym up there, and we've got the uh, medical centre there, and there's this uh, room here with guards in it. I'm just going to unlock the door with my lockpick, and you'll see in a second, yep, there, right there on the notice board, that's where our first piece of the treasure map is going to be. So we'll grab that and wander out, thankfully nobody's particularly observant. So in and out, and then I'm going to come over here, and I'm just going to pass over to the other side of this swimming pool area, and we're going to be heading towards where the uh, the bar area, the restaurant area is, so up there, just ahead of us. We're going to go up there in a second where the bar is, but first I'm going to go and get myself a nice handy disguise. I'm going to get the, uh, the chef's disguise by heading up these stairs here, and that's going to come in handy because, of course, as a chef, or any catering staff really, you can... Uh, put stuff in drinks and food and things and uh, nobody bats an eyelid, which is marvellous. There we are, turn that ice machine on and here we are, that will lure him out. And I'm going to turn it off again and then hide behind the door. So I turned it off again so it doesn't attract anyone else, because the last thing you want when you're tidying a body away is uh, for someone else to come and go, oh, what's that ice machine doing on? And there we are, so take him, nice and easy, knock him out. And in he goes, there we are, tidy up. Cold will help the swelling go down. Maybe he'll retain memories of how to tie his shoes when he wakes up. Who knows? Anyway, there we are, got the costume. Out we pop. And you're going to come down these stairs. And straight across to these stairs over here. And uh, yeah, someone's noticing me a bit there. But never mind. Didn't go all the way, so I was fine. And here we are, coming to the bar area, and see, uh, well, you may have just seen quickly on the right of the screen there, off on the balcony, was where the sea captain was, going to pop the sedative pills in his drink. And fortunately there's no one who recognises you in this disguise. Um, you could sort of, maybe a bit quicker, you could hop in behind the bar, there's a little room with um, two sort of catering staff, I forget exactly what the name of the disguise is, and you can quickly kill them and take their clothes, but the guy behind the bar will recognise them, so you'd then have to lure him behind, uh, or just not be seen by him while you're standing around here. Um, so I, I just favoured the chef disguise because of that. Anyway, he's going to come over and he's going to fiddle around with his drink, top it up, there we go, and he's going to have a nice big swig of it, as you can see. No one nearby who's worried about anything. And there we are, down it mate. And here we go, down he goes. And nobody cares because it's a sedative uh, poison, so poisons are always... Uh, pretty much ignored, basically. And there's the little treasure map part, so I'll take that and uh, leave them to wake him up. And now I can go off and get the third part, which is the uh, final part we'll need. And for that I'm going to head off towards the villa area. And I, I was a bit reckless here, I just went running without really looking. I mean, there's a couple of guys there who can spot me. And there we are, you see the yellow bits coming up on the screen to show that they're looking, but it doesn't really matter, no one saw me, no one was particularly bothered, and I'll probably outrun them anyway. So here's the villa, and instead of going straight in, we're going to go off to the left here, because there's a nice area you can sneak in. Uh, you can clamber over the wall if you fancy, but um, I'm not going to bother with that. I'm just going to uh, use my pistol to quietly take out that camera up there. There we go, that's the one. And then there's another one, you just see the end po poking out there, pointing inside. So we don't want that seeing us once we get inside, so we'll unlock the door. And we're completely... Uh, completely at liberty to wander in here because there's no cameras now. And there's a guy who's on the stairs there, we're just going to use our lucky apple that we picked up earlier and chuck it on the floor. He'll hear that and then he'll come down and then he'll get, come and uh, give us his set of clothes which will be very nice. So come on, bring us the clothes mate. Come on, this way, that's it. Uh, and we're going to use these clothes because, I mean, they're very useful for wandering around this area because it's full of guards. And... Uh, just like that, most of them won't have a clue that we're not supposed to be there. So there we are, grab him, there we are. Time for you to have a nice sleep in the flower beds. And take the clothes. Might as well take the pistol, you never know if you're going to need the ammo. 
and uh, can't find the apple but I can see there now I'm looking at it it was on the left there just underneath the uh, stairs never mind it's not really important I just like picking everything up it's funny Hitman encourages you to grab everything doesn't it anyway so I'm gonna come around here as you can see around the front of the house and I'm gonna follow the path along nice and simple just follow the path and if you look to the right here you can see the sort of gives away here to where people have probably been walking through and it's destroyed it as a log on the floor and just to the right we have look here a destroyed old jetty and look at the base of it there we are you can see it quite clearly in the old instinct a bottle smash the bottle and oh, it's got a map inside it or rather a piece of a map grab that we've now got all three of them and um, if you have a look inside your uh, intel tab you can see there we are there's one bit the island and there we are, palm tree, and skull and crossbones is the next one. And all together they make up the full map. There we are. We're going to need one more thing though before we do that. So starting here from this place, if you could turn to your left and come here to the side of the bar. So just around the side. And we're going to go into the entrance way to uh, the underground lab. Lab, uh, server farm, not, yeah. Thinking of Sapienza, that's a lab. This is a server farm down here. And fortunately for us, this guy's coming straight out, so... We just have to wander over, and we're going to need this shovel. Because, of course, we're digging up treasure, aren't we? You can't dig up treasure if you haven't got a shovel. Very, very useful. Um, and from here, we're just going to go to the treasure. So we're going to come back along here, past the way where we were before. And uh, mind out for that guy on the left there. He can see through the disguise, but as long as you hug the shoreline, you'll be fine. And if you look over here, you can see uh, water looks a bit lighter. There's a sort of turquoise tone to it. Well, that's because it's uh, there's quite shallow. There's land there. There's a little land bridge you can take across to the island here. Which is very helpful, because it means you don't have to go all the way around the long way. Um, and come under this little wooden structure here. And head right to the back. Go uh, past these crates. And you can see there on the ground there's a little thing there. And if you're nearby, dig. And if you don't have a shovel, it's not there. So we need the shovel, of course. Because uh, those with shovels can do some digging. And let's do it. And 47 will bring up this lovely chest here, which looks quite modern, really, for pirate treasure, doesn't it? But never mind, open it up. And in the top right, there we are. Pirate's gold. And you'll find inside a few doubloons. And the Yarl's pirate saber. And uh, let's just have a little look. There we are. So, so, I was Matt. You've been watching Jumble of Games and Guides. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully it was helpful for you. Uh, and uh, if you enjoyed it, uh, hopefully I'll see you back again soon in another video. Bye for now.